Has anyone ever been to a wedding where someone actually objected, and if so, how did that go? Groom found out that bride was cheating two days before the wedding day. He spilled the beans while exchanging the vows. Damn. That's some TV show level shit. Dude paid most of it, and it was too late for a refund. I'm out this money. Might as well go out in style. Honestly, takes guts to do but damned if I don't appreciate the follow through. I hope he still had the reception too. Divorce party. Kind of. My uncle was getting married. Small, just a handful of family and a minister. I was videotaping. My grandmother was not into it at all. With each line spoken by the minister, she had a cutting, sarcastic response. I could not believe it. It was so unlike her, when that part came up, she said I object. But does it really matter? They are going to do it anyway. The minister just ignored her and proceeded, business as usual. They were divorced within a year. Wish I had a copy. Grandma called it I guess. Or caused it. I had a friend who was a minister, and the subject came up if he asked the question during ceremonies he officiated. He laughed and said no way. He basically tells the couple not to include it because it only invites a moment of anxiety at best, misery at worst. His best story, and one of the reasons he stopped including the question, was a couple where the lead-up to the wedding the couple was obviously in love. The bride-to-be was very smiley and happy. Day of the wedding she's stone-faced. He knows something is up because Hess never seen her like this and he asks if she is okay. Im fine. Right before the service he asks again. Im fine. He gets to the question, does anyone object to this union? The bride reaches over, grabs the maid of honor, shoves her into the bride's spot and says, you're screwing him, you marry him. And then stormed out of the church. Slightly different circumstances, but I know a guy that was the videographer at a wedding where the groom was the one that objected to the wedding at that point. When the priest asked if anyone objected the groom broke down crying and said that he couldn't go through with the wedding. Apparently he had gotten a stripper pregnant, and felt like he had to marry the stripper instead of the bride. He got pulled into a side room by the officiant, his father, and the father of the bride while everyone else, including the bride, stood around awkwardly. A few minutes later the father of the bride came out and told everyone that the ceremony was over and the wedding was off, but that everyone was welcome to go to the reception and enjoy the food. My friend didn't stick around for the reception so I have no idea how it all turned out. But apparently the bride was understandably not taking it well. He got pulled into a side room by the officiant, his father, and the father of the bride was he ever seen again? I was at one where the groom thanked the bride's ex for dying as his loss was my gain. Didn't help the sons of his bride and ex were in attendance. Holy crap. Please tell me she divorced him. He's actually dead now so perhaps it wasn't really his gain the way she seems to get rid of her husband. Well that's either incredibly tragic or sort of suspicious. Or both at the same time, hmm. Groom, his loss, my gain. Bride, your gain? Next guy, those last two guys were chumps. A friend of mine has a band that plays lots of weddings and other parties. They were hired for a birthday party that turned out to be a surprise wedding. The guy surprised his GF with a proposal and wanted to have a wedding ceremony then and there. She said no and left. My auntie's fiancé was already married, lady stood up waving marriage cert, so wedding didn't go ahead. The reception was on a long boat so we still went to that. The fiancé went back to home country to sort it out and never came back. Oh yikes. So they really did have a legal reason to object. It was very awkward. Did the attempted bigamist attend the reception boat as well? Or did you all get to go and enjoy the WTF happen there? Train wreck vibes? Not quite the question as asked, but too funny to not share. Priest, any objections? Father of the bride, lets out the hardest, loudest, most complex sounding sneeze I've ever heard in my life, completely with involuntarily saying a chuo mother of the bride, hammered on champagne, for duck's sake. Jerry. It took a good five minutes for everyone to regain their composure. Nice, Jerry. I sneezed. Oh I'm not allowed to sneeze. I went to a wedding where the best man was replaced a week before because he banged the bride. But the wedding still went ahead just with a different best man. They are divorced now. 
This is only tangentially related, but I had a friend I knew for like three months who told me at the wedding I was the maid of honor. Like A the wedding was starting I was pushed to the front. I was chosen over her own sisters. The whole wedding was that kind of chaos. It was the best wedding I've ever been to. This was in America, and the wedding was in a Buddhist temple. Parents of the groom stood up and objected because they didn't believe the bride was of the same class. They spoke in another language so most of the English-speaking guests didn't know they were objecting. My husband was the best man and those closest to the couple knew this might happen. The Buddhist priest said he would handle it if the parents tried anything. After the parents spoke for a while the priest said to the groom, you've heard what your parents had to say, what do you want to do? The groom replied, I want to marry my bride. So the priest asked the parents to leave. At this point the rest of the guests are cluing in that this was not a nice part of the ceremony, and that the parents were actually objecting, so, as the parents walked out, some of the guests were berating them saying things like, you should be ashamed of yourself and how could you do that? And even though the groom was not happy with his parents, that was very hard for him to hear. That was 30 years ago. The couple is still married. They have two beautiful, successful children. After the groom's mom passed away, the groom's father came around and was involved in their lives until he died. Wow. That's ducked. I'm very impressed both that they are obviously happily married and that they decided to allow the father into their lives. If I had to guess, either one of two things happened. A. The mother was the one that was unhappy with it and he just went with it because it's his wife or B. Once his wife died, he realized oh shit. My wife is gone and now I don't have a kid. I hope they'll take me back. I miss them and this isn't worth it. Yeah. Both are very sad options. But I'm glad he got involved in the end. A woman, in her 20s at the time, objected to her mom marrying my uncle. So she started yelling, mom don't marry him. During the ceremony. The ceremony proceeded and some family on the mom's side lead the daughter away to quit interrupting. I don't blame her my uncle was a lying, lazy bastard. The marriage didn't last. I read the first bit as her mom marrying her uncle, and was deeply concerned. One of my cousins is married to literally one of the kindest and coolest dudes I have ever met. Before the wedding, her little sister was saying how she's marrying my best friend. At the wedding, when the priest dude asks if anyone objects, the room is dead quiet and all you hear is a little girlish whisper I do. It was honestly really adorable and we all laughed, and my cousin's husband and her little sister are still best friends. I apologize for any misunderstandings with my post, I thought it would have been obvious but I guess it wasn't, my bad. Anyway, the event was a few years ago and the little sister was about 9 or 10 at the time. Sorry for any confusion or concern. Lol, that definitely makes a huge difference. Goes from jealous friend who was having a guy on the back burner to sweet sister who really liked her new bill and maybe had a little crush. One is a dick move, one is a total compliment that she's unfortunately likely be embarrassed by when she's an adult. But that's really adorable. At his rehearsal dinner a co-worker's mother toast included that his soon-to-be wife was a damn dirty whore who wasn't good enough for her son folks not happy. Video ended so didn't see the whole thing, at wedding which I attended his mom started to say something at the speak now part but was silenced by her daughter. Mom left and didn't see the rest of the ceremony. Everything about that poor guy was drama. My friend's mill made a speech at the wedding which included now y'all can go have sex all night, you ain't gotta wait no more. You ain't gotta sweet talk her no more, baby boy, you can just take her up whenever you like. In almost the most jealous tone I have ever heard. It was unsettlingly bizarre. She did an object to the marriage, but we all objected to her. Also, before anyone assumes she was drunk, it was a dry wedding. Edit, I'm aware that dry weddings and drinking aren't mutually exclusive. The woman was not drunk, she's just a gross person. You wouldn't believe the grimace on my face as I read that. That was the facial expression of everyone there. Went to a wedding where they skipped that part because the bride's adult daughter was planning to object. How was this known? Had she pre-announced her intention, or was she just that kind of person and people had accurately predicted it? She told somebody and they told the bride and groom. Huge thanks to that person. No one wants their wedding to remembered for the wrong reasons.